today we're going to have a look at how you can use the Unity web request.get to get a file from a web page. Now I've done some other tutorials about how to read in a CSV or a JSON file or a text file. So if you wanted to get your file from the internet rather than within your project, this is how you do it. I've had this question a few times. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's reasonably simple to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a folder for my scripts. And in here, I'm just going to create a C sharp file to read it. Now the file I'm going to choose to read is the Mars Insight data. So Mars has this free API that you can view on the web page, but you can also get information from it. So here's the Mars Weather Service API. If you want to be able to post to it, you'll need to go get an API key. But it also has this demo API URL, which you can just get, and it will return the JSON. So let's try and get that. Let's open our file in Visual Studio. So the first thing you're going to need is to make this work, you're going to need the networking library from the Unity engine. So let's add that. And we're not going to need the update function, so I'm going to delete that. Now, when you're using Unity web request, you'll use the IEnumerator function rather than a normal function. And that's because this function will run alongside the regular update loop until it finishes. So let's create one called read. Now this function name will stay underscored until you have a yield within it. So first of all, let's do our Unity web request. I've always stuck with calling them www because when I started using them, the old Unity system in their examples used www. So I sort of stuck with that over time, but the name isn't that important. Now in the get function, all you have to do is pass it the URL that you're interested in. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. And so that's all you have to do to get. So you just put your URL in here. You don't need any other variables. Next, you yield. And this is where you actually send the web request and make it happen. Usually here you'll want an if else. So one if will be if there's an error. So for example, it can't find the file. You know, the page gives you an error back or something like that. And then you'll have your else where it's a success and then you can do something with the data. So to find out if it's got an error, this is the line you'd use. So what we're saying here is if the result is not a success. And then I'm just going to debug the error so that you can see what it would be. You can do some other things here with your error if you want, like you can let the user know what type of error it is, or you might handle it differently depending on what the error is, whether it's no internet connection or something like that. So in our else is where we've had a success. And so I'm just going to read the results into a string and put that string to the console so that you can read it. Finally, when you finish, you go www.dispose. If you don't do this, you may get this weird error message that says there's a memory leak and points you to some other document. It's not a very helpful error. And if you see something like that, you just got to go back and add this www.dispose. So now that you've written your read function, let's just call it in the start function. And you do this by writing start coroutine. And that's your entire script done. So let's go back to Unity and give this a test. 
I'm going to create a game object to put it on. I'm just going to flick over to the console here. And here you can see it's returned all of the data. And that's all you need to do. What I'm just going to do before we finish up this tutorial is show you what it will look like if you get an error. So to do this, I'm going to change this line. And I'm going to point it at something that doesn't exist. Now, although I randomly typed this, I'm pretty sure that this file won't exist. And here you go, we get the error message, cannot resolve destination host. And that's all there is to it, to reading in a text file or a CSV or whatever you want to read. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if it's helpful, please like, subscribe or comment. It really helps me grow the channel. Thanks. Have a great day.